be something very pivotal, confrontational, in the, my viewpoint, vis-a-vis the feminists, dealing with Hugh Hefner, and I'm going to give you a pivotal reference point in order to reference my beliefs. So it gives you a very strong standard, yesterday, today, and forever, to judge me by, so that my comments, no matter how concrete I've been, lose their abstract appearance to you, okay? So this is literally an old video off of YouTube of the Dick Cavett Show where Hugh Hafner clashed with two feminists, okay? I'm going to pre-season this meal of knowledge with a statement about this. Watching right-wing extremist fields, um, right-wing, right-wing extremist death films and death porn films forced to and then put under hypnosis to forget when they tried to inculcate me into a cult called Seven Times Murdery that was a big power and huge all over the world as a youth, which I fought my way out of without killing women, thank God. Things kind of never were cool with me, those people. But like I said, after fighting my way out of great degree, it's mind control, okay? Here we go. I'm going to tell you this. I know this about Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner was a disappointment to a large number of black female stellar playgirls who I saw in his mansion murdered after he openly swapped down and promised to protect them. His statement as a so-called sexual liberal uh, loyal to these black women basically went in the toilet and I saw a huge number of absolutely irreplaceable black women who not just were beautiful phys- physically, but were like, as I would say, crux deluxe. When I speak about alpha females, the ones like me, as a male, opposite of equal, but have it all going on with physical, athletic, mental, spiritual, just like alpha white females do, like Scarlett Inger Johansson, Elizabeth Olsen, Latinas like Tracy Sins, black women like Nia Long, ones that have it all, okay? The kinds like me and Mel Streep, across the board, crux deluxe, okay? Like just under the divine angels like Sri Lakshmi. The point is this. I saw way too much in the liberal movement of a collapse where the white liberal constantly didn't have the teeth and the grit of the far right wing or conservative and continued to show himself to be what? The more numerous and noble princes of Ammon and Moab. Okay, just um, as unfortunately as George Bush said, kinder, kinder and gentler. It really means you're just a more righteous, peering, and numerous prince. You're still an absolute enemy of God's people and of the human race. You're basically what a more righteous, and numerous, and noble, absolute enemy of God as entire creation. So you just come off like you're holier than God. You have that persona, like I said about Colin Dose. He walks with that shroud of the cloud of God. But in the, he's just a front for the mist of darkness at the core. It's a horrible, deceptive front of the clouds. He, know, he shrouds himself in this mist of the whiteness and lightness. He's clouds and wind without the real rain. And the rain is really something like death. Unfortunately, once again, this is the methodology of such people. I, I will never forget, as I repeated, watching films of murders and holocausts of mixed race and interracial couples at Fairmont Prison, as I mentioned before. Fairmont Prison was turned into a death camp for interracial couples by Frank Rizzo and his people, the right wing extremists that really ran Philly. And I'm going to tell you the truth the films that was that, because all you saw was the liberal white husbands crying. I was like, that was the most pussified, wimpy shit you ever saw. That the wives and daughters of these beautiful children, and these white males were being brutalized, and all the white men could do was sit there and cry. It was the most pathetic shit you ever saw. It was like, they were so moral and so righteous, but they had no chivalry. It was the most glorified form of chauvinism you could believe. And worst part, at the end of the day, they were absolute enemies of the black women and Asian 
and Latina and their children. Because all they did was cry. Who does that? It was the most pathetic shit you ever saw. It was literally, they would literally provoke the right-wing extremists to brutalize them because they were such wimps. It was the kind of shit that would, like a roughneck, they made the Nazis out to be righteous in all this. That was the most pathetic shit. I literally prayed that you white dudes would be banned from being with any other women because that shit showed that you liberal white males were so pathetic it was unbelievable. I was like, that's all you can offer these women was sit there and cry? Who does that? I don't need your heart. I need you to part your bleeding heart. If your bleeding heart doesn't mean you're going to fight for me, you're just going to sit there and cry while we get killed. As if that was some kind of morality. It was pathetic. Like he said, like a, the roughneck of MC Light. It made them out to be the roughnecks. Like I'm a bag another brother that I rank not rough enough. The films showed that these liberals were pathetic. I don't need you to, your bleeding heart should be to fight for me and die for me. Not sit there and cry. It just shows that they were just a flip wimpy side of a right-wing extremist. They were really right-wing extremists. They weren't liberal at all. They were just absolutely phony. They were literally Nazis in liberal clothing. That is not love. You don't sit there and cry. You fight back. You don't sit there and bitch and act like a little wussy. It was pathetic. You freaking... You, th these white dudes were literally the fire and the fuel of the right-wingers brutalizing their children. When you saw they were going to sit there and cry, it wasn't even like Thor. Thor would say, you'll die for that. They'd just sit there and cry. I mean, like, at, they, turned, they were absolute anti-hero zeros. It was the most pathetic shit you ever saw. And that's all you ever saw with these white liberals. Exactly why it collapsed and went to nothing. They were a, they were the fuel and the fire of genocide against the so-called liberal left. It was total pathetic. It was a folly. It was an absolute folly. They were glorified creeps of the worst order. It was absolute pathetic. And I'm going to tell you, I watched it myself. I've seen the films, and I've seen it in real life. Gutless pussies. So they, like I said, they make the Trumpers and the right-wingers look like they, we're the real men. Like, we're super machismo. They, it's like they play the role of an absolute bitch-ass pussy. It's, they're making a statement like liberalism has no teeth. That we're just what? A rational brute beast made to be taken and destroyed. And this American institutionalized racism really means sixth dimension neo-nazi mind control cult brainwash smith matrix palpatine emperor sith kingdom okay neo-nazi sixth dimension brainwash mind control state okay even false borg locutus ish it's simply the flaming heat of the pavement, they turn into the blacktop that you get crushed on while the right-wingers come on with the steamroller. Absolute fraud with the liberalism. This is what I'm trying to tell you. As a Christian and Catholic, and as a right-wing centrist to left liberal, I'm telling you the truth. As a realist wise man, it shows exactly what Malcolm X said and many others. That the liberal tends to be just, and even a Democratic Party, you're a joke. If you want blacks to have their lives right or not, you literally just sit there and pretend and linger and so we don't get our rights. You mean it's your phony. You need to shit or get off the democratic pot. Liberals shit or get off the liberal pot. We don't need you to just be pussified versions of a Nazi because that's all you showed yourself. You act like you don't have the fucking balls to stand up and so you just motivate the right winger to do whatever he wants and laugh in your face. And Zach Leiter is so fucking arrogant because you liberals motivate them, okay? You're the fuel in the fire for right-wing extremism because you keep letting them run things. And you won't stand up to them and just finally say, back the fuck up. You're too pussyfied, okay? You need to grow up your fucking balls and stop acting like the more righteous and noble princes of Amin and Moab, an absolute group of Jew haters out to exterminate them and stop being phony, either the shit or get off the pot. Either you're going to be a real liberal or you're not, okay? And I'm going to continue this on the next broadcast, but I'm going to bust your fucking balls first.